Today we're talking more cinematic B-roll and five behind the scenes tips for creating that with a smartphone. Out of the various videos I've done on B-roll and shooting B-roll, by far the most popular is the cinematic B-roll stuff. I think part of that is that people just like seeing that kind of footage, but also the idea that you can do that with the camera that's in your pocket, that's in your smartphone. So here I'm going to try to demystify that process. First thing is shoot slow motion. Not only will it give you a cool cinematic look, but it also takes out all the camera shake, especially when shooting handheld. And all the cinematic B-roll sequences I shoot are handheld, by the way. So the most popular is probably 120 frames per second. I also shoot a lot of 4K 60. So regardless of what app you're using, Filmic Pro, Mavis, or even the built-in camera app, you can use it to shoot slow motion. And remember, when you're shooting these high frame rates, you actually conform it to 24p. 24p is the base frame rate. So when you shoot 120, you get a 20% slow-mo look. When you shoot 60, you get a 40% slow-mo look. Related to shooting handheld, and even though it's slow motion, you'll want to stabilize the footage in post-production. Not always, but most of the time. This just gives the footage an extra bit of polish. Almost looks like it was on a crane sometimes, or a jib, or a gimbal, or a Steadicam. I use Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro, but most editing software has it. And even for mobile users, there's apps like Emulsio. Always plan ahead and think about your edit while you're shooting. So if you know you can stabilize footage in post-production, don't worry about those extra camera bumps. Same thing with transitions. Think about the way you shoot transitions that will then of course come together in post-production. And that also includes doing effect shots. Little touches like this can really up the production value of your footage. Shoot some shallow depth of field. Not something you usually think about with a smartphone, but it absolutely is possible. Now, I'm not someone that thinks shallow depth of field is the end all be all, but anything you can do to add production value, so to speak, that's a good thing. To get blurry backgrounds, you need to get close to the subject. And another good thing is to use a tele lens, telephoto. And the last thing that I do that ties everything together is color grading. Now, if you shoot log or flat using Filmic Pro or the Moment Pro camera app, then you can use LUTs to bring that back. And if you follow this channel, you know that we actually sell LUTs for Filmic Pro and Moment. They are optimized for those specific profiles. I'll put a link in the description. But beyond using LUTs, I also use apps like Film Convert or Magic Bullet, just to take it to that next step to give it a more filmic look. So give these tips and techniques a try on your next shoot and see what kind of cinematic B-roll you can create. This is Blake Calhoun. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.